hello everyone watching and welcome on today's video we are going to be making the first halloween set of the season i am so excited so the press-ons that we're going to be using in this video are once again the she and press-ons love these so much and yes it does have a little bit of white paint on the box it's all right it's all right but i already prepped the nails i buffed them filed the little tips and they are all good so i'm going to put them on the press-on stand So this is where we are going to make some of the custom gel. Um, so I'm using this gel that I use pretty frequently. Uh, I use it in a lot of my sets to encapsulate, to stick on rhinestones. Yeah, I use it a lot. So I just cracked open a new container of it and popped some of it on this lid that I have. So now I'm going to go and get this organizer that I have. It is like an organizer that I keep on my bag glitter. I'm taking out this glitter mix I made. It has orange and black glitter in it and it's super cute for Halloween. I'm just going to be mixing this into the gel and making my own cute little scattered glitter custom gel. I like love a clear nail with scattered glitter over top. I just think it is so cute, it's so simple, but like also just amazing and beautiful at the same time. Like super duper easy to do. Especially that's why I've been collecting a lot of like glitter polish because I just I think it is so cute. Before I start using the custom gel, I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side and pick up these two nails, the pinky and pointer finger, and I'm going to be painting those with some gel polish. So the two colors of gel polish that I'm going to be using for these two nails are black and orange. The orange is going to go on the pointer and the black is going to go on the pinky um my sister does not like this orange i did her nails and she, um she went in rainbow and so i pulled out an orange and she did not like this orange i had to use another one but i think it is so pretty like i think this orange is so cute and with this zeshi brand the blacks in specific it's like okay don't get me wrong the black is like definitely opaque and it's definitely really nice but you cannot put a thick layer of it at all and this happens with um a lot of blacks when it comes to gel polish you have to put a thin coat on there but again this like black is really opaque so really you put one coat where that's thin for the first coat thin to the point you can like see through it a little bit and then the second coat will be like completely opaque and it will cure perfectly just yeah just make sure it's like two thin coats And as you can see, two coats of each was just enough to make them opaque, and yeah. You see how pretty that orange is? Other people say it's not, but I like it. So now we are finally going to go in with the custom gel. I'm going to be using the spatula end of a poly gel brush to put it in, and that was a good decision. It worked very well. I'm also going to be using a, um, what is it called? It's called... A, a nail art brush, I think it's a nail art brush, a small little nail art brush to go in. 
and like smooth out the sides of it and like spread it like spread it out nicely and i was going to go in and use a poly gel brush instead but i'm happy i used the smaller brush because the poly gel brush would have been just like too big and pushing everything around too much so i'm happy i went in with the small detail brush And I hope you guys like like the Halloween theme of this video and like the rest of the videos for October are going to be like this. I was just like waiting for October 1st to just like, you know, put my Halloween intro, put the Halloween music, do Halloween sets. But I gotta say like I'm trying to do like some Halloween challenges, but for me personally, I feel like it's very hard to find some Halloween challenges to do. Like, yeah, Halloween nail art, but like... I don't know like i just need some halloween challenges to do i do have a halloween challenge video coming out soon which i think you guys will like i'll see if you're excited to get that video out to you guys So, I don't know if I said already, but the gels take about two minutes to cure. So, while I was just waiting, I was like, what do I do now? So, I just cleaned up the area, got out some um, stuff I'm going to be using later. I was going to put some rhinestones on these two um, blank nails, but I decided to just leave them, leave them colored and just wait till the stuff got out of the lamp to decorate them. So while waiting, I decided to put on a top coat. I'm using the Candy Lover brand um, top coat. And if you have not seen that video yet, you should check that out. I did a review on the Candy Lover summer collection, even though it was not summer anymore. But still, we discussed that in that video. So now I'm just checking if the nails are fully cured because these um, this gel does take about two minutes to cure in the lamp. So I just had to check, make sure that everything was all cured. Plus there's like a tacky layer on there. So I wasn't sure if it was like dry or if it was just tacky. So I found out that they were, so two of them were cured and one of them was like mostly cured, but there was like a little part that wasn't cured. So I just put that back in there to cure.
so then I flipped the nails around and put them on the stand the right way and now I'm going in with some of this gel to stick on some rhinestones So I was thinking about going all the way around the cuticles with the black rhinestones, but I was just thinking to myself, no, I think it would be cuter with just like one rhinestone on there because I really do like that look with just the one rhinestone. And fun fact, I've never used my colored rhinestones before. Like, I don't know why, I just ne have never used them like in all the time I've been doing nails. like almost an entire year since i've had these i just have not used them yet but today's my first day using them so after curing them i went in with some of the candy lover top coat once again and just went over the nails i zoomed in for this part because you guys know top coat over clear nails is very pretty After curing them, I put all of them in their order and now I'm going to show you guys the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas of any Halloween content you want me to post, comment them down below and I'll catch you later.